Hello, hola, and namaste from around the world to your classroom. This is Reggie Alexander, and we're here to understand cost, volume, profit analysis. In this video, we are going to cover the basic concept of cost, volume, profit analysis. So what is a cost, volume, profit analysis? Cost, volume, profit analysis is a method used to analyze the changes in fixed and variable cost, and how it affects the company's profit. It also includes analysis of different levels of sales and profit. Generally, cost volume profit is used to figure out the break-even point or the forecast of sales to achieve a targeted profit. Let's look at a simple example. Say you are in a business of selling computers. How many computers do you need to sell to cover your cost? The cost of manufacturing and assembling a computer, that is the variable cost for a single computer, is $500. Your monthly fixed cost, that is the rent, salaries, etc., say it's about $10,000. You want to sell the computer at a price of $1,000 per computer. How many computers do you have to sell per month to cover your fixed expenses and make a targeted profit? The answer to this question, we need to understand the required sales in dollars. To determine the required sales in dollars, you need to add your fixed cost plus targeted income and divide that by your contribution margin ratio. To determine the contribution margin ratio, use a formula contribution margin divided by the price. In this case, your contribution margin ratio is $500 divided by $1,000, which is selling price per unit. That equals 50%. Now that you know your contribution margin ratio, you can plug it in into the formula. Required sales in dollars equals 10,000, which is the fixed cost plus 50,000, which is the targeted income you want, divided by the contribution margin of 50%. Therefore, the required sales in dollars to make a profit of 50,000 is $120,000. What about if you want to understand how many units, that is computers, you will have to sell to make a profit of $50,000? Let's take a look at the following formula. Required sales in units. That is the fixed cost plus targeted income divided by the contribution margins per unit. To determine the contribution margin per unit, you take the price per unit, which is $1,000, and minus the variable cost per unit, which is $500. To give you the contribution margin per unit of $500, bucks, plug the numbers into the original formula. Therefore, the required sales unit equals 10,000 plus 50,000 divided by 500 equals 120 units. Therefore, the required sales in units to make a profit of 50,000 is 120 units. So think about why a company will need a cost volume profit analysis. Number one, you can price your product and get your desired results. Number two, you can set sales targets more accurately because you will know exactly how much you need to sell to be profitable. Number three, avoid bad business decisions to mitigate risk by predicting potential outcomes. Number four, easy acquisition of funding from investors with a clearer picture of profitability without any ambiguity. And number five, make smarter objective decisions rather than subjective emotional ones. Some limitations of cost volume profit analysis is that the unit selling price is not always constant. On a long run, fixed and variable cost can change. Further, it is not suitable for a multi product firm. Let's take another example. Let's say you are in the business of selling pens. The cost of manufacturing a pen, that is the variable cost, for a single pen is two dogs. Your fixed cost, which is rent, salaries, etc., 
is around ten thousand dollars. If you want to sell the pen at four dollars per pen, how many pens do you have to sell per month to at least cover your cost? To determine how many pens you have to sell per month to at least cover your cost, you must determine and understand the break-even point. The break-even point is a point where any business is at least able to cover its cost. The formula for break-even is fixed cost divided by contribution margin per unit. To determine the contribution margin per unit, you take the price per pen of $4 and subtract the variable cost per pen of $2. This leaves you with a contribution margin of $2 per unit. Then plug that into your break-even formula. Your fixed cost is $10,000 and your contribution margin is $2. The answer is 5,000 units. So you will have to sell 5,000 units to just to break even. Every additional pen you sell, you will make profit. Therefore, the basic concept of cost, volume, profit analysis is to look at the various level of cost and volume that have an impact on operating profits. Please feel free to practice cost, volume, profit analysis on your own or explore more about this on check.